Hello, in this problem we're going to do a proof. We have alpha and beta complex numbers and we have to prove that the conjugate of alpha plus beta is equal to the conjugate of alpha plus the conjugate of beta. And this is a really easy proof, but let's just go ahead and go through it. So first recall what this means. If you have a complex number, say x plus yi, the conjugate of the complex number is simply x minus yi. Okay, so that's, that's all it is. So here we have to do this proof. So we'll start by um, writing out alpha and beta as complex numbers. In particular, we're going to write them uh, explicitly so we have their real and imaginary parts written down. So let alpha equal, say, alpha sub 1 plus alpha sub 2i, and beta equal beta sub 1 plus beta sub 2i. And so now we just basically have to look at alpha plus beta. So then alpha plus beta, well, you simply add the real parts. So alpha sub 1 plus beta sub 1 plus, and then you add the imaginary parts. So alpha sub 2 plus beta sub 2i. So now when we look at the conjugate of this complex number, well, basically, if you look here at the z, we basically switch the sign between the real and imaginary parts. So this is the real part, and this is the imaginary part, so all you do is switch the sign. So this is alpha sub 1 plus beta sub 1 minus alpha sub 2 plus beta sub 2i. Let's keep going here and see if we can end up with this, or we can stop here. Um, yeah, let's, well, let's keep going. <laughs> Why not? So alpha sub 1 plus beta sub 1 and this is going to be minus alpha sub 2 minus, with an i, beta sub 2i, okay? And so let's see if we can combine the alphas and the betas. So this is alpha sub 1 minus alpha sub 2i plus, that's combining these, and now let's combine these, beta sub 1 minus beta sub 2i. But this is the conjugate of alpha and this is the conjugate of beta. And so that completes the proof because the conjugate of alpha plus beta is equal to the conjugate of alpha plus the conjugate of beta, which is what we wanted to prove in this simple problem. So I hope this has helped someone out there who is trying to learn uh, how to write basic proofs and learn about complex numbers. Good luck.